Abilene presses man on the outside. Here's a play fake. Allo to throw. Has a man wide open. It's caught by Rodgers. Turns up field at the five into the end zone, leaping for the touchdown. Jawan Rodgers just snuck out of the backfield, uncovered. Allo finds him, turns it up the left sideline. A uh, lead at about the four yard line. Robbie gets into the end zone. The Southeastern has marched it 88 yards. Hi, and welcome to another edition of Inside Southeastern Football with head coach Ron Roberts, presented by Mercedes-Benz of New Orleans and K Street Seafood. I'm Robbie Rhodes sitting in for Alan Waddell this week, and that was a great touchdown you just saw there. Jawan Rogers, a senior fullback, uh, big-time throw from quarterback Justin Allen for the touchdown coach. Just a good way to get that first half going, heading in the locker room and increase your lead, uh, which was a big part of you guys holding on for victory on Saturday. Yeah, great way to start it out. Obviously, a huge play by Jawan Rogers, not just the catch, but the run after the catch. Unbelievable job getting the ball in the end zone. I know those defensive backs for Abilene probably weren't too thrilled with him coming downhill with him with a running start, no. heading into that end zone for sure. No doubt. But he's tremendously athletic uh, guy for his size, too. You see him get up and, and, and leap for those last couple yards to get in the end zone. Just great play. He's a guy that's really stood out in the last few ball games. Not only has, has he made some great plays on Saturday, but he had uh, Jawan Dickey with some great catches as well. And Justin Allen returning off of injury and your defense really made some big stops at crucial times against an offense that I think was a lot better than advertised coming in on Saturday. Yeah, I thought they had a good offense coming in there. The quarterback was a good player, and we knew that coming in. And I thought our guys did a good job of handling him and, and uh, keeping him corralled and not letting him make the big explosive plays. Uh, but offensively, again, we had some big nights from some, some guys that uh, really uh, allowed us to you know, take control of that ball game early. Coach, you, you, probably one of the better days for a coach, I think, in the year. It's also sad, but it's also fulfilling his senior day. And it was senior day this past Saturday at Strawberry Stadium. You honored some young men who have been in this program for a long time, some guys that you were still in. There's still some guys who were honored this past Saturday who were in your first recruiting class who have been yeah. here for five years, some guys four years, obviously, and even sometimes in two years when they come from junior college or transfers or whatever. But uh, it's got to be an honor to see those young men and get them off with a win. It's a great night overall. You know, again, uh, senior nights are always tough because, you know, you're trying to make sure they don't get, uh, uh, you know, too emotional and stuff right. because some, a lot of times that, that leads to not playing very well on, on, uh, on game time. But uh, I think our guys handled it well, came out and, and played well, and it was great to see some of those seniors have great nights. And you guys talk about it all the time, really important to, to get championship rings and you get degrees, and then you know, a lot of those young men will leave with not only one of those things, but sometimes two of them, so it's really special to send those young men out like that. Coach, this week, a short week, you go to play down in Thibodeau, the Riverville Classic, Nichols State, who's playing really good football coming into this game. Uh, they're 5-5. Five and five. You guys are trying to stay alive for that playoff berth in the Southland Conference and the National Playoffs. Uh, what is, obviously, rivalry games are great. What does this one mean to you and your guys as you head down there trying to take back that Riverville and also have a chance to play in the postseason? Yeah, well, it, it's a, there's a lot at stake, obviously, but uh, you know, the in-state rivalry is enough. Uh, the in-state rivalry, playing for Nichols, Nichols uh, playing the River Bell. They've done, coach has done a great job down there, uh, and uh, you know, the program is much improved from what it was a couple years ago. And uh, you know, again, it's, it's important. We're going to go over to their place, and it's tough to get a, a win on the road. So we got to know that we can play really well. All right, Coach, we'll take, and take our first break of the show. This is Inside Southeastern Football with Ron Roberts, presented by Mercedes-Benz and K Street Seafood Company. In Southeast Louisiana, one luxury automobile dealership stands apart from all the rest, Mercedes-Benz of New Orleans. It's more than just offering Mercedes-Benz vehicles, it's star service that prides itself on customer relationships. From valet service and Mercedes-Benz loaner cars, our customers enjoy award-winning star service. Come see what star service is all about. Visit Mercedes-Benz of New Orleans on Veterans in Metairie or at mbofno.com. Welcome back to Inside Southeastern Football with head coach Ron Roberts, presented by Mercedes-Benz of New Orleans and Kate Street Seafood. Let's go back out to Strawberry Stadium and take a look at the first half highlights against Abilene Christian. This will be a ball game, Robbie, between the sixth-ranked uh, conference offense, Abilene Christian versus the sixth-ranked conference defense of Southeastern. Those are a little bit misleading due to FBS scores and a pretty good offense in Abilene Christian going up against a pretty good defense in Southeastern. We're going to get to see that test here early on. 
And on first and 10, he'll take it. Hands it straight ahead. He's going to lose yardage. Coming off the left end, Mickey Fongatua. Allo to throw on a play fake. He's got Javon Connor and a block out front. He'll pick up about five or six. It's going to be short of the first down. It'll bring up third and about five. Four-man front for Abilene Christian. Allo to throw. Has time across the middle. He's got his man. That's Jawan Rogers for a first down across the 35 up to the 38-yard line. Allo finds the hot route. That's his fullback, the senior out of Amy. Rogers in motion. Allo to throw. Here comes the blitz. They pick it up. Out route is caught, and that's going to be complete over there to Brandon Acker. Abilene presses man on the outside. Here's a play fake. Allo to throw. Has a man wide open. It's caught by Rogers. Turns up field at the five into the end zone, leaping for the touchdown. Jawan Rogers is stuck out of the backfield, uncovered. Allo finds him. Turns it up the left sideline. Uh, a leap. At about the four-yard line, Robbie gets into the end zone, and Southeastern has marched it 88 yards. And the extra point is up and good by Tatum, and Southeastern leads it here on senior night, 7 upside the tight end. He'll take the football, play fake, wants to throw. Lions come with pressure. It is he throws, and it is caught. Great catch. At around midfield, thrown to the ground by Trey Bennett. That's just a great uh, job by Seeley. Something goal. Seeley throws on the bubble. It's caught. Gets a clean block out front. This will be another first down. Ball is fumbled on the ground, but out of bounds. He took a shot from, might have been Will Hines maybe. The ball came loose, but it rolled toward the Lion bench and out of bounds. Seeley throws. Lions, pressure in his face. This is caught. Cross the middle. That'll be another first down. And. Uh, we got a flag late on the play. This is going to be on John Taylor for roughing the passer, I think. Snap is clean, kick is up, and it is through, I believe, and Abilene Christian is on the board. 7-3, to 4-11 to play. Here's Juice again. He is off to the races across the 40. Midfield, 45-40, 35, still down the sideline, 25, hits a man out of bounds. Let's see where they spot it. They'll spot him back out at the 23, Juice Marshland. Allo to throw on the slant. Caught. Touchdown, Acker. And Allo on the play fake fitted in there quickly. Got it out uh, in a hurry. And Acker got inside position. And Graffy to hold. Freeman snap. It's down. Kick is up. It's through. Lions lead it 14-3 to with 2.20 to play here in the first quarter. And uh, it's been an exciting one. Hot left. Seeley's going to play fake. Wants the run pass option. He'll take it and run it. He's going to be rode down from behind by Solomon Parker. Just got on his back, went for a ride. It was a gain of two, and I don't think he saw Parker behind him. And that will be the final play of the th first quarter with Southeastern on top. 14-3. to three. We'll switch ends of the field back in one minute. Their side, they'll hand the ball left side. He's got a hole, and he's going to take it down for a first down. I don't see where they spot it. It's going to be inside the two. That'll be first and goal for two-yard line. Seeley. Hands it straight ahead. He is hit for a loss. And that is Anthony Murphy. He drops him at the three-yard line. Ocean wide receiver near side. Seeley's going to toss it. And they're going to throw it back to him. He's wide open. He'll walk into the end zone for a touchdown. Hines hit him, but that's a trick play. And Abilene is uh, on the board with a touchdown. This one is good. It's 14 to 10, 11.48 to play. We'll keep it right here. Wildcats on the field, first and 10. Silly to throw. Fires it uh, incomplete. Well, it was a lot of hand fighting. Now a flag's going to come in way late. And the near side official uh, didn't throw it. The far side official did, and that's going to be on Cup. Lions giving chase, and Seeley's going to pull it down. He can run all day, and he's going to slide for the first down. Southeastern came with pressure and got too far upfield, and Seeley just uh, took what they gave him and slides for the first down. Right, Lions will come after him again, and this time they got it. That's Janoni who came on a delay. Southeastern, uh, that was well diagnosed there by Ron Roberts, uh, or drawn up, I should say. Southpaw kicker, clean snap, kick is up. And this one is good. It's 14 to 13, 725 to play. We'll better hurry to get this off. One on the play clock. Just do. Here comes the blitz. Across the middle. It is caught. What a miraculous catch. Diving and sliding. Jawan Dickey. And how did he maintain that football? Oh, to throw again. Wants to go deep. He's got Dickey down there against man coverage. And that's got to be a flag. Here it comes. 
And that should be pass interference on ACU. There was a flag in the backfield, too. Hope that's not Allo's going to take it. He'll boot fake, rolling right, looking. Wants a throwback. He's got a uh, man wide open. Tolbert can't come up with it. Wanted to throw back to Jerron, Jariah Tolbert. Low snap. Kick is up. It's not going to have a chance. No good. Wow. Doesn't even get to the goal line. And Abilene holds. Gain of two officially. They'll bunch three wides to the right. Sealy to throw. Lions come after him. Dumps it out of the backfield. It's caught. Slips a tackle. Still on his feet. And up close to a first down. It'll be short by a couple of yards. It'll bring up third and two. We have a and Allo to throw, wants to go deep, far side. He's got Dickey down there. He's got it at the five, dies to the pylon, out of bounds at the one. Incredible throw and catch. Juice straight ahead. He's going to die for the end zone. He's in for the touchdown with 38 seconds to play. Juice Marcelin from two yards out does the honors, and Southeastern stretches the lead to 20 to 13. Extra point is good. Lions lead it 21 to 13. We're at halftime from Strawberry Stadium, Southeastern leading Abilene Christian by a score of 21 to 13. What was a very entertaining first half, a lot of offense by the Lions and uh, pretty good defense for the most part. All right, Coach, thought the first half highlights there. Some really great catches by your wide receiver group and Justin Allo coming off injury. He made some really nice throws in that first half to get you guys that lead going into the locker room. Yeah, he did. Uh, again, he, he was throwing the ball well there in the first half. Uh, I think the offense was playing well. Um, again, and I thought we had total control of the ball game at that point. Juice Marshall line with some nice runs as well. He gets a touchdown there. He's went over 100 yards for the second straight week. He's really kind of coming into form in the second half of the season for sure. Yeah, he's, he's a guy, again, we, we kind of leaned on him uh, to handle all the running duties, again, uh, again versus Abilene Christian, and, and did a great job. And He's a guy that uh, uh, I think he's getting better every week. A uh, little dinged up going in that one, so hopefully he's healthy on, on Thursday night. He's ready to roll. And you guys, uh, your defense made those plays when they had to get Abilene off the field. Who you talked about is a high-powered offense. Yeah, they were very good. They were very good offense. And uh, I think we came with some big stops and some big plays at the times we needed. Um, big part of that was probably not make sure they didn't get the, the, a lot of the big plays. You know, they, they took some shots down downfield, throwing the ball, and our guys did a good job defending them and getting good pressure on the quarterback. Well, Lions led 21-13 to 13 going into the halftime break. Let's take a look at the second half highlights to see how the Lions finished out for victory on Saturday night. Allo will take it. He'll hand the ball straight ahead. Actually keep it on the option. He'll pitch to Darius Durrell. has got some running room. Shakes a tackle out across the 40. And he's blasted after a pickup of 15 out of bounds. And, and they will. They'll rush five. That twist is on up front. Gets it away incomplete. And uh, looking for a flag is Abilene Christian. There is none to be thrown. And Southeastern holds three and out on their opening defensive series. There's a handoff straight ahead to Marceland. He fights through a hole, still running hard. He is out across the 35, up close to a first down. That was all Marceland, who was bottled up at the line of scrimmage and just willed his way through a hole, broken arm tackle. And he'll throw it again on the out route. That is caught. That is a great throw and a catch by Jawan Dickey. And again, they have such a great rapport. Take it, drop straight back. Has pressure. Now fires it down the middle of the field to Dickey. That one's intercepted inside the 15-yard line against double coverage. Allo uh, just Allo's hung it up there and uh, rid of it. Lions pressure. And they got it. Balls on the ground. It is picked up for a touchdown. Right on cue. The Lions score defensively. And that is Jake Giannone who with the scoop of the score. The ball was raked away from behind as the Lions got pressure. And Southeastern scores on the defensive end. Team extra point is good. Seeley surveying the defense, takes the football. He'll play fake, cross the middle. Great catch, and this one can go. And they are right back in it with a 48-yard touchdown catch and run. And in two plays, Abilene Christian. And Seeley's going to play fake, rolling to his right. He'll look, wants to throw it back across the way, and this one is not going to be anywhere close. And Southeastern will maintain a two-score lead as a two-point conversion was no good. Kind of interesting that they tried the two-point conversion there. He'll hand it straight ahead to Juice. And he's got some running room left side. Slips through a tackle, running hard, physical, stiff arm and out of bounds at the 30. That'll be another first down, gain of 13. Abilene's going to come with pressure. Dumps it out. It's caught. And Rodgers maintains his feet. Has the first down out across the 45 up to the 47. First and 10, Dickey motions near side. They'll run option. Allo wants to throw. Going deep. He's got a man down there. It is Acker. He's got it inside the 10. 
The senior out of Hattiesburg from Justin Allo. Snap is clean. Kick is up. It is good, and the Lions have uh, stretched it out to 31 to 19, 44 seconds to play third quarter. Back in one minute, you're listening to Lions football in the Southeastern Sports. Right side, there's a handoff backside. Best running play of the night for Abilene Christian. That'll be a gain of 12 and a first down. And there you have it. Lions get a big win. They moved to six and two in the Southland Conference race, uh, six and four overall in the season. They win at 31 to 19 over Appling Christian. Let's go back out to Strawberry Stadium and get some post-game reaction from some players. First, of all, I want to thank the line for helping me achieve that, achieve that goal. But overall, I think I had a good game tonight. Uh, it's, it's it's really hard, but it's, it's a mind thing. Once my mind said I could do it, I just keep going, keep moving, keep moving forward. Uh, they was playing, uh, they had like a busted coverage. You know, we had tempo, we was just, uh, driving the ball down and they had like a busted coverage and uh, I was wide open where the play was tagged to me and it was wide, and I was wide open. Allo made the play, or uh, well, made the uh, pass and I caught it and it just, you know, just kept running. Uh, tough, hard, hard football game. Uh, you know, we kind of knew that coming in. They've been playing some pretty good football. I don't think we didn't obviously under, underestimate or not. We knew what they were capable of doing. Um, thought we had chances to pull it away. Uh, just didn't get the points when we got down there a couple times, and, and uh, really thought we were going to separate there, uh, uh, and and didn't. And uh, you know, hats off to them. I think they continue to play hard. But I was I was proud of our guys to do what we had to do to come away with the W. All right, coach. Obviously a big win. Saw some post game reaction from some of your players. Obviously it's big to get that senior night win, but obviously to finish off uh, the Strawberry Stadium home season with a win as well for the fans. Uh, just talk about this win overall to finish out the home schedule. It was a good win. I mean, conference wins are big. Uh, I thought they, they were a team that's playing really well coming in. They played better. I think the last two, you know, won two out of the last three games coming in here. So uh, uh, you know they were a good football team. They had ability to put points on the board and. Uh, I thought uh, our guys did what we had to do to, to, to give us a little bit of comfort in that, run, in, in that one, um, but we made some huge stops there to uh, you know, keep them off, and uh, that, you know, that, those were big in the thing, and then I, I, you know, the last part we really just kind of kept control and tried to keep control of the clock and, and, and eat the time up and get this game over with. Well, that'll do it for Abilene Christian. Lions went 31-19. to They, like I said, moved to 6-2 and in the Southland Conference race. We'll go ahead and take another break. We'll come back for more of Inside Southeastern Football with Ron Roberts, presented by Mercedes-Benz of New Orleans and Case Tree Seafood. In Southeast Louisiana, one luxury automobile dealership stands apart from all the rest, Mercedes-Benz of New Orleans. It's more than just offering Mercedes-Benz vehicles, it's star service that prides itself on customer relationships. From valet service and Mercedes-Benz loaner cars, our customers enjoy award-winning star service. Come see what star service is all about. Visit Mercedes-Benz of New Orleans on Veterans in Metairie or at mbofno.com. Rendy's Quick Stop, located just outside the gates of Southeastern on University Drive, has everything you need in a convenience store. If you're looking for a quick snack or a full-service cold drink fountain or an ice-cold beer, make sure you visit Rendy's Walk-In Beer Cooler. Rendy's also has a huge selection of import and domestic wine. So whether you're running low on gas or whether you just want to pick up lunch or supper to go, visit Rendy's Quick Stop. Rindy's accepts Lions Lanyap for Southeastern students. Rindy's Quick Stop, a proud supporter of Southeastern football. And welcome back to Inside Southeastern Football with head coach Ron Roberts, presented by Mercedes Benz of New Orleans and Cage Street Seafood. This past weekend was senior night, as we mentioned, and 19 seniors finished off their home schedule with a big time win. Let's go check it out and see how they finished it up. Before the game Saturday night, Southeastern honored 19 seniors who were playing their last regular season home game at Strawberry Stadium. Jawan Rogers and Rashid Harrell were two fifth-year seniors and were part of Ron Roberts' first recruiting class. It's a bittersweet moment, you know, like, I'm gonna love, uh, I'm gonna miss playing in the stadium, you know, practicing every day, even though we got another week to practice, but 
you know, game day, I'm going to miss that like a lot at Strawberry Stadium. Rogers scored on the opening possession of the game, but says he wasn't really emotional during pregame while being honored on the field. But he did get caught up in the moment. Um, I try, I try not to get in my emotions, but you know, like try to get in my feelings about it. But last year's seniors lost their final game to Nickel State at their home stadium, and that was something the underclassmen vowed not to let happen again for these seniors. We lost last year, but this year we we, we got the W for those seniors this year. After the game, head coach Ron Roberts talked about how winning the last home game. After the game, head coach Ron Roberts talked about how winning the last home game was great, but there is still work to be done. Again, uh, we got some seniors that have done a fabulous job. Uh, you know, and you mentioned some of them tonight. Some of them had some big games tonight. I thought Jawan Rogers played. You know, he's done what he's done. He's been a fascinating player here, and uh, we had some seniors that really played well. And uh, you know, hats off to them. And uh, you know, we really appreciate everything they've done for for Southeastern athletics and our football program. And you know, if we need to turn around, just try to go get, get one more for them. All right, Coach, obviously uh, wrapping up a senior night, obviously a great way to finish for those young men. Just talk about some of those seniors for us real quick. Uh, a lot of them played a huge part in our program in the last five years. You know, we had guys, guys, some of them were in my first signing class. Uh, some of them were our uh, four-year seniors. And, uh, you know, again, huge part. They've had a lot of success here. Uh, it was great to see our fans and stuff send them out on a successful note. I'm glad we were able to get that win on their on their on their senior night, and again to to finish their 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 career at, at Strawberry Stadium on a winning note. Yeah, it really was exciting for them. Well, this past week as well, the uh, football players got a chance to take part of something that's kind of sweeping the country with a really cool video. The Mannequin Challenge, the Lions football team took part in that this past weekend. Let's go check it out. Hey, watch this. Hey, watch this. Yeah, watch this. Watch this, man. Watch this. Watch this. Hey, watch this. Movie. Hey, watch this. Watch that. Well, Coach, that was a lot of fun for those kids. It's not only about winning championships and being great student athletes, but it's also about having a good time. They sure did with that video. Yeah, I mean, it's about you know finding ways to have fun when you're when you're uh, you're working for your goals and be able to enjoy the process. And uh, our guys are finding ways to do that, and that's what we wanted our program to be about. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the Southland Conference standings, Coach. It was another great week in the Southland. Some games in Nickel State, who played UCA very, very tough last week. And that, that kind of was the game that decided there's going to be a conference championship, so to speak, in Huntsville on Saturday. Central Arkansas plays Sam Houston State. The winner of that will be your, your Southland Conference undefeated champion. Uh, uh, talk about that game this, this week and how this league has kind of shaped out through the year. Yeah, that uh, you know, obviously that's great for our conference to be able to come at, come down to that two teams undefeated and going to go in and play for a championship. That's a uh, that's a way you dream it. That's the way you you write it up. I'm sure commissioner is extremely happy about that as well. You know, uh, the conference has been a tough competitive conference this year. Again, I think in the last couple of years we've seen the the bottom half of our conference just kind of swing up, right. and uh, uh, so anybody can beat anybody. You're seeing a lot of tough competitive games, and people you know maybe some of them struggling, but the, they're still be able to compete at any time with anybody. And uh, I think that's, that's great for our conference, and you're seeing that parity across the board. We're going to go ahead and take it on our final break of the show. This is Inside Southeastern Football with head coach Ron Roberts, presented by Mercedes-Benz in New Orleans and K Street Seafood. In southeast Louisiana, one luxury automobile dealership stands apart from all the rest, Mercedes-Benz of New Orleans. It's more than just offering Mercedes-Benz vehicles. It's star service that prides itself on customer relationships. From valet service and Mercedes-Benz loaner cars, our customers enjoy award-winning Star Service. Come see what Star Service is all about. Visit Mercedes-Benz of New Orleans on Veterans in Metairie or at mbofno.com. Your eyesight is so important, and when it comes to your eye care, let the friendly staff at the Bon Roden Eye Clinic care for you. 
Doctors Hunter Bond and Chris Roten, along with their staff of trained doctors, are committed to providing every patient with quality care. The Bond Roten Eye Clinic has the latest medical technology and eye care to help you, the patient. With over 14 years of experience, the Bond Roten Eye Clinic has three locations to serve you with offices in Denham Springs, Hammond, and Amite. So if it's a checkup, glasses, or LASIK surgery, you need to visit the Bond Roten Eye Clinic. For more information on the clinic, please visit bondroteniclinic.com. And welcome back to Inside Southeastern Football with head coach Ron Roberts, presented by Mercedes-Benz in New Orleans and Cage Street Seafood. Coach, uh, we've got some great food here, as always, from Cage Street, and this is my first week filling in for Alan. This is pretty yeah. awesome. You get a treat every Monday. Yeah, it's awesome. They have great food here. I encourage anybody to come on out here. You're always going to have a great meal. One of my favorite places to eat when I'm in Hammond is Cage Street, and they obviously showing it here. Coach, uh, final game of the regular season, uh, Nickel State. We talked about it a little bit earlier, the Riverbell Classic. Uh, you want to get that Riverbell and bring it back to Hammond uh, on Thursday night against a team who's been playing some pretty good football. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a huge game. You know, on Thursday night, playing a, a, a rivalry game like this in state, a uh, big game for us again to make sure we continue to, to achieve and work towards our goals. Coach, I think one of the unique things about this, this this game this year is over the last maybe 10 or so years, it's either been one team's been good and one team's been struggling or, or both teams have been struggling. This year, both teams are playing at an extremely high level. That's got to really bring a sense of uh, urgency to your team and also an excitement to the fans to just know that both these teams are playing really good and anything can happen in Thibodeau on Thursday night. Yeah, it should be a great game. I don't, I don't think anybody wants to miss it. Our fans hopefully show up down in Thibodeau. It's only an hour and a half drive. It should be a great college football game on Thursday night. And Coach, what you really instilled since you got here in Hammond was this ability to play for the postseason. And uh, I think that Thursday night is, is, is a for it all. It's, it's good to be playing football that means something in the month of November. And, you know, you might need a little bit of help. We'll see how the playoff committee shakes it out. But a win here, you get seven Division One wins, seven and four, certainly eligible for the postseason and a chance to get the South and three teams in this league. Uh, talk about, do you talk about with that with your guys this week at all or just worry about Nichols? Well, we're focused on Nichols. Uh, you know, we, we've discussed that. They know the map out of what, what needs to happen and what could possibly take place and what's at stake. So our guys are fully aware of that. But our focus still is, is still on Nichols completely. Completely. All right, Coach, we appreciate it. We always uh, enjoy you visiting with you and uh, getting a chance to look at this game with Nickel State this week. Should be a good one, and we appreciate your time today. Thank you. All right, that does it for another edition of Inside Southeastern Football with Ron Roberts, presented by Mercedes-Benz of New Orleans and K Street Seafood.